If you thought that only adults are building successful companies after years of trial and error, then this list will shock you. We have put together a list of the most successful teen founders. These people have started their own companies and grew to success quickly. What is the secret behind their fast-growing success? Starting from bath bombs to healthcare products, these genius kids cracked the code to money building at a very young age. They have all been quick on their feet and are not afraid to take risks. Let's get into it. Both the teen sisters, Carolyn and Isabel Burkhoff, were once extremely obsessed with bath bombs. Their obsession started when both of them were in middle school. It all began when they first used a bath bomb and were curious about the color release and the fizz that was created. Their obsession increased when they would end the day by soaking their feet in bath bomb infused water. Both the sisters being student athletes would end up with sore feet at the end of each day. They started by selling some of them at the local fair, after which it became an instant hit. Within a few quick years, they had opened about 30 shops and displayed their product in international fair trade. They used their basement as the place of production and ended up making around 20,000 in one month. Their game changed when Target wanted to shelf their products across the country in more than 1,700 stores. With them not being legally eligible to run a company, their mother took over the picture and was named CEO. To this day, they do not rely on funding from outside and use their funds to grow. Da bomb owners jokingly said that they fired their mom at least five times whenever they were grounded. Company, founder and CEO, Mr. Corey's Cookies. This young man's love for his mother changed his entire life. He was tired of taking the bus everywhere with his mom, so he wanted to start saving early to buy her a car. His passion became more intense, and he started selling hot chocolate for one dollar. Neves called this the Swiss Miss, and this did not take much time to pick up in his local area. He was more than thrilled with his quick success. Neves knew that he hit the sweet spot of business. He started searching for the recipe of cookies online and experimented with a few. It was not until a year or two that people started taking these cookies seriously. Seeing this success, his mom decided to take these cookies to the local fests. He got recognized by Ellen DeGeneres and got invited as a guest on her show. This publicity gave him so many orders that he could not handle. Soon it became a problem of supply and demand. CNBC, the profit helped him raise $100,000 cash to help him hire some cookie helpers and stabilize his business. He now has cookies in 14 different flavors and he wants to finish college when he grows up. Company founder and executive director, Hack Plus. What better idea for a business than helping others open up their business? When Sandal Chawla was a sophomore, he had an idea. He was passionate about web development and took his first steps. Sandal Chawla wanted to fund his work, but it wasn't easy to find the right path to get funded because of his young age. He was not even allowed to fill his paperwork. These barriers helped him realize that he should be helping other startups like himself to open their business seamlessly. He focused on automating all the paperwork involved in fiscal sponsorship. Hack was started as a non-profit organization to help people, but was soon recognized by large companies like Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. They decided to support him by employing some of their resources to his work. He soon grew and employed about 12 people and helped around 926 minor students to laugh their business ideas. Company founder, Greenworks Landscaping. R. Jade Duarte, a man who believes in the hard word, decided to drop out of college as he felt like it was not for him. He did not drop out of his college to start his business, but his business was already running in six figures, which led him to this decision. At the tender age of eight, the boy began cutting grass, and Duarte was dead set with this job. He would cut the grass of everyone in his neighborhood, and soon the other areas as well. By the time RJ reached high school, he officially opened his company and named it Greenworks. He saw the potential this business has and grew it slowly. He started branding his company as a premium landscaping and maintenance company. Others started discouraging him by only asking him about college and never bothered about his business. But he stuck to his instincts, and Greenworks is now a company that has to employ high school students in double digits during peak season. Kids truly are the children of God. They want to do good without any expectation from the other end. He has always loved to go around, assisting his mother at home. When he saw that this was not sufficient, he began volunteering outside the home, in soup kitchens and beach cleanups. After he visited a few places to help, some of them even turned him down because of his age. He did not want other kids to experience the same thing he did. 
so he decided to open a non-profit organization just for kids who can help the rest of the world. KIDS4 community took donations from corporates, grants, and other sources only to raise about $1 million. This money got put to good use to help the homeless. They also conducted 5K runs, drives, and other campaigns to raise more money for them. He intends to hand over this company to his younger brother after he goes to college. Maya's passion started when she wanted to do something about her old clothes in her house. She wanted to make sustainable clothing for people, and once she got the go-ahead from her parents, she started watching tutorials. Once she began with headbands and cute scarves made from old clothes, there was no stopping her. She could not believe her first sale, and soon this became a hit. She employed about 10 people to handle the supply. She used her talent to open other non-profit organizations. She is all for woman development and started supplying sanitary pads to become in developing countries. Her talent helped her open her animation studio, and ever since, she has given three TED Talks, recognized by Oprah, and has even written two books. After getting $500,000 as investment from angel investors, she wants to build a better place for the world. Here we have another sibling duo who converted their passion to their business dreams. Sebastian and his older brother Brandon had a love for patterned socks. At first, they used to get customized socks done for themselves with the help of their mom. After a while, they realized that this could be a business that they can run together. One loved to talk to people and do the selling, and the other loves the production part of it. It feels like both of them were tailored to be in this business. Within a short period, their sales rocketed to $1 million. They got famous and appeared in Good Morning America. This appearance gave them more sales, which helped them kickstart a charity as well. They soon want to see their socks on the retail shelves. The discovery of this million-dollar idea happened overnight when they stumbled upon a big ongoing problem in their country. The elderly and the homeless people were finding it difficult to get to their medical appointments. They either had to depend on family members or they did not have sufficient money to pay for this transportation. They decided to develop an app for this problem. While patients, caretakers, and healthcare providers can book medical transportation for people in need, what is special about this is that they accept their health insurance as payment for this right. After raising $2 million in funds, they started employing other high school graduates to be drivers for SafeTrip. Not only this, but the boy also runs a team of 10 people, and the drivers have been trained in first aid like CPR and other emergency treatments. His main motive is to help his family become financially independent. Erin was always fascinated by science and technology. One day, when she was watching a video of Michael J. Fox, she could not help but think about a distinct feature in people with Parkinson's disease. She noticed that their smiles were not normal. It seemed somewhat distant emotionally. Upon collecting more information, she understood that years before a person could develop Parkinson's disease, they would show the same symptoms of an emotionally distant smile. She grew eager about this and first started conducting smaller experiments at home. After these small ones, she decided to pull out the big gun by building a diagnostic system called Faceprint. This device captures the changes in the expression of a person and detects whether they have a possibility of developing Parkinson's in the future. With a success rate of about 88%, the Michael J. Fox Foundation and pharmaceutical companies are helping her further her research. She wants to contribute to the healthcare of the world in a significant way. Ryu Karamanchi had learned how to code at the young age of four. She has already participated in many youth innovation programs in Toronto for years after that. Once, she was in her friend's house and saw that her grandmother was visually impaired. This was the first time she saw how difficult it is for the visually impaired to move around in spaces. The white can is something that has been around for more than a hundred years now. Has there been any significant change to it? She was going to bring about the change by combining technology with this idea she had. The normal white cane is great when it comes to identifying bigger obstacles. But what about the smaller ones? Or what about water puddles? She invented smart cane to help them sense the smaller objects around them as well. Depending on how big or small the object is, the vibrations would set off in the cane. After she first raised $85,000, companies like Microsoft, Aero Electronics, and Inertia Engineering gave in their experts to look into this product. She is not even 11 yet and is the owner of a million-dollar company. Femi Adibogun was only 16 years old when he had started his first company. It was time to start employing people in this startup, but he was still underage. What if these people thought less of him or did not believe in his idea? So he decided to hide his age till his company takes off. 
Soon after his company started taking off and started receiving awards, his employees got to know about his age. After this, he did not shy away from telling people his real age. His actual arm focused on helping students find the right medium to pay for college and understand which stream suits them the best. When he saw that the number of guidance counselors was less in his country, he jumped on this idea to automate it. With now more than 40,000 users, it has crossed the funding of $1 million. It is always almost a problem that gives rise to an idea as a solution. Jack Bono was an eight-year-old boy who was a fan of the Star Wars trilogy. Jack wanted to purchase a Lego Star Wars Death Star. This one cost way more than this pocket money could cover. It cost about $400. His passion for getting this item made him run a lemonade stand, which bought him about $900 worth of profit. He could not believe how amazing the gig economy was. For many years, he and his father decided to help people set up their stands and marketplaces stand. He could charge a small fee of $15 and help them with the setup. After he saw the rise in profits, he started an app that helps other teens enter the gig economy with ease. He named it Teen Hustle, and he believed that this would be a hit as well. With the help of technology, teens are taking back the jobs of what used to be theirs in the 1980s. More siblings should spend time with each other to come up with brilliant ideas and hype each other up. Siddharth and Rohit Srinivasan, two brothers, discovered their love for robotics at a young age. Both of them wanted to move out of Austin and help orphans in India to learn about STEM. They soon realized that teaching robotics would require a high-speed internet connection with a fast computer. The first thing they jumped onto was to create a kit that was cheap to assemble. They made tiny kits with the help of simple items like rubber bands, paper clips, and ice pop sticks. They also included other parts like the motors, lights, speakers, sensors, gears, and axles, which cost them about $100 per kit. Trashbits is now shipped everywhere in the world to build smaller items. Eventually aimed to intrigue kids into the robotics learning space. Looking at the talent of these young kids, you might be inspired to start something of your own. While many of these kids were fortunate enough to get their idea running, there is not always a quick solution to make more money. We can help you get an idea of how to invest in a smart way to make you more financially independent. We might not be experts in giving you business ideas, but we sure can show you the path to get it kick-started. The first step would be to start early. You can start saving small from a young age. Not many people see the power in saving money, but this can go a long way in investing your business. Saving money alone would not have a high contribution to your fund. You need to practice the frequency of adding money. You can also open up a small savings account that would help you add interest to this money. Another way is to use these savings to invest in CDs, stocks, bonds, or other types of investments. To save a substantial amount of money, you need to keep something aside every week. At the end of each month, you could set a reminder to get this money automatically transferred to your savings account. The small money in the bank can help you move from a small savings account to a small investment plan. Investments are always a smarter way to double your money. But this will take time to grow. Investing will not only give you interest on your money made, but will also give you added interest. You can think of this as a snowball that rolls down the hill. Interest over interest will fetch you a higher rate of return in a quicker span, but it is smarter to let them build up more. Some people may argue that dollar cost averaging may not be a better method compared to investing all your money at once. But you cannot guarantee anything. Both have their benefits and work equally fine when invested smartly. In the long run, this is a highly strategic way. Buying the shares when the cost is low, you decrease your average cost per share over time. If you have a bulk amount of money to invest and you put it into the market all at once, this might be tough. You would run the risk of buying at a peak. After accumulating money year on year from the investment, you can let this compound. It is to double the return received on the return. What helps you more is the frequency in which you reinvest and earn. Again, starting at a younger age helps you gain more compound interest. Even if you decide to invest double the money in the future at the same rate of interest, after compounding, you could end up with lesser money during retirement compared to the compounding interest earned when started at an early age with lesser money. Added to these smaller tips, to help grow your money, you can switch to smarter options. For example, having a savings account can be flexible for you as you can withdraw the cash at any given time. But if you buy a certificate of deposit, the flexibility might be less, but you will earn higher benefits. They are easy to set up, insured till about $250,000, but they do have a downside to it. The interest earned on this is not very high. 
so you can use this option for small amounts of money for short periods. If you do your research, you can find the right bank that offers you a higher ROI. If you are looking for more low-risk places to invest your money in, government and municipal bonds are the way to go. The money is borrowed by the government to fund other private organizations. These private organizations have a great credit score. Only on their creditworthiness are they allowed to take money from the government. Hence the risk for you is very low. Again there are downsides to this form of investment as well. When the rates are low, your ROI would also come down. You would probably require some tutorials on how to work with stocks before you get started. It can be a risky game to play without educating yourself. Stocks offer you a high rate of return in a short time. But this comes with its own share of high risk. If the stock price of a company goes down, you are likely to lose all your money. By being a stock owner, you are one of the owners of the company. You can also consider hiring a financial advisor to invest. A mutual fund is a type of financial means made up of a pond of money managed by many investors to invest in securities like stocks, bonds, etc. This would mean that you will be able to invest in securities that you would not be able to afford alone. The risk would also be smaller as the money is not large and invested solely by you. Most of them allow you to start with a small amount of money. You can also go on adding to this as and when you wish to. If you are looking for a good tool to get yourself started, you can turn to this app called Robinhood. They started their operation in 2013, and they are a platform that gives you a commission-free trading space. The traditional brokerage is kept aside allowing you to invest in stocks, cryptocurrencies, ETFs, and other vehicles. If you are a first-time investor, this app can be perfect. It is more popular among youngsters. If you do not wish to start investing as of yet, this app can give you the information you need. Before you get started, you need to understand what your goals are. The process to get this kick started is easy. You need to be 18 years old to open an account with them. Along with this, you need a valid social security number and a US address. Starting here with a small amount of money is also acceptable. Initially, till you understand how the app works try sticking to stocks and ETFs. You could also set up practice portfolios, which help you understand the whole investing game better. Saving and investing for the future is always a good idea. You may never know how much the value of the dollar would increase as the years pass by. With little to no savings, you would not be able to afford the basics in the coming years. With a few smart tips and investments, you can save up for your retirement, or you can reinvest this money into your business plan. The returns you get from your business can also be directed in other forms of savings. Think wise and plan a better future for yourself.